they have a whole damn rule for me because I figured out something that no one else did. And it goes back to what he was saying. I was playing around. One day we were playing around. Since I was the best underwater kicker in the world, I was like, and it was always like, I'm, I'm probably one of the best on, on my front, but on my back, on my back, lights out, pass out, passes everyone. What was your best 50 meter underwater kick? 50 meter underwater kick, I was 21.8. That's long course, guys. Long course with uh, not a not from a start, just from a push with a normal suit on. Not like a race suit. It was a normal suit. It was in practice. Well, what's your best? <laughs> but yeah, 21 and we did it at Olympic Trials in 2008, and it was we were just working on underwaters, and he was like, "Let's do a time 50 underwater," and I did it with a just regular suit on after practice, and I went 21 eight. Jason Lezak actually he saw it, and he was like, "What the hell just happened?" So, but anyways, going back to that rule, so I was fastest on my back. Oh, so we thought, you know, in the IM or in freestyle, every time that you touch the wall, especially going like breast to freestyle, instead of like pushing off and going straight to your stomach, I pushed off, went on my back, kicked on on my back, and then turned right before I popped up to start swimming. And during that swimming world championships, it was ridiculous on how much I was front of people just off the turf. Like a body length with the world's fastest swimmers. I was popping up a body length and ahead of them off the turn just from me doing that because I learned taking something that I was great at and making it even better and putting it into a race.